everybody. I want to show y'all something really cool. Kira is out here and she's dealing with her batteries. She drained these down, taking the power out of them. Because you um, don't want them to explode. Exactly. And there's a reason for it. She learned a long time ago, about three years ago, when she was dealing with some of these batteries, that if you allow that contact, let me get over in the light here. If you allow that contact, that little bit of that nickel that's welded on, to touch this or get into that case, and it will do it. It will do it. It will arc, and if that's a full-charged battery, it can make a big freaking mess. Now, she's drained these down. They pretty much have no power left, and she's been peeling the uh, the pieces off. And some of them, like these, are medical-grade batteries. So she's had this uh, these things since last year, and she had ordered a bunch of these, and uh, she just now decided it's time. So what this is is a battery for a medical device, and they're brand new they've never been cycled they still had their their uh, tabs you have to peel to to power them up but they were fully charged and holding about 85 percent of their charge even though they are a year and a half old batteries so she's got her a bunch of these and these come with the little dummy sets that are inside in the dead center there there's two of them in each one and so that they have what they're wanting you know for power and what she figured out is I, I told her, I said, go get, go get my little tool that drains them down, my resistor tool that drains them down. And she's like, oh, no, I've already got them rigged up. And I said, well, what did you do? And she goes, light bulb. <laughs> you now you leave a flashlight on and then um, it slowly drains down until it's like non-existent. Yeah. And then you got dead batteries. Yep. So her goal is that these, these bulbs are good for four to 16 volts. They're T10 style 194s. Now, instead of her going and getting a set of 1146s or 1141s or 1150s, sorry, 1156s that are only good for eight to 20 volts, this is a 7.2 volt, volt battery pack. She went and got the ones that are good down to about four volts. Now at four volts, that is half the voltage basically of this battery that's fully dead so when these things dim out and you can look at this one i don't know if you can tell it's pretty dim so you put this one on this morning mm, yeah or earlier today and this one on here around noon so this one's a little bit brighter and you can see that one's already still having its effect you want to make sure that you drain these batteries down because if you don't drain them down you're going to damage the cell you could even have one blow up in your hand so she has all these uh you done a pretty good clean job, but this now this is the other side. But say that side right there was to touch the outer casing of it, or there we go. There's a little bit left of that one. Say that was to touch when you're pulling on it. You can't pry on these. You have to pull straight out. But you see that if that was to touch on that, that would create one heck of an arc. It could damage the battery, and it could even have a runaway thermal effect. So you don't want that. So it's a little bit different. 3.7 volts versus uh, 3.2, which is. Um, uh, a little more stable now so there i'm wanting to show you what she has achieved and what you should do this is exactly what you should do and look at these you just find these on any convenience store shelf they're just standard signal light that you get a little t10 style see that and they will effectively drain down a battery from roughly 18 volt all the way down to uh, about four volts because these will still I mean they will drain them down to zero but they'll completely black out at about four volts they'll still pull down to zero practically but you can tell when they're done when they're dimmed out so that is an idea to share with you guys this is what she's doing and this is for a battery bank or battery pack she's got her um, BMS is here for and this is for a battery pack to go on a scooter she's building her own because everywhere else you're just getting used cells. You're buying brand new ones and you're getting a lot of used cells in them. And as long as they pass going through the line, you might pay $200 for something that ain't gonna last you a year. These, they're medical grade. They are, you can see that right there, Samsung 2600. They're uh, 2.6 amp a piece. And she's gonna have a 10.6, Kira? I think that's what it was. 10.6, so a 10.6 set up on her battery so basically about 42 volts 36 volt battery set and 42 fully charged and that's going to be nice that's going to be real nice so six times what six times 2.6 so she's got about a 15 amp hour battery 
with a lot of duration. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. You guys be good.